He's bumped into there by O'Connor, back into Ellis, now to Kunakel, who will fire it in. He pulls the trigger in front of the net, and a save made there by Parts. I thought the Spitfires were going to be tagged with a penalty. They I score. Kunakel been. rips it past Maverick Parts as the Spirit unable to defend, and the fans are howling in disgust thinking that there should have been a penalty on the Windsor Spitfires, a little pick in front of the net, and that gave uh, Kunakel time to roam in front. He took the pass and wired it past Parts. Block gets it back into Cassian. Cassian had a lock. A little give and take there, but it's finally stripped off their stick, and here comes Vincent Trocek. Trocek left it there for Sots. Oh, pulls up and hit the goal post. And this second period is underway, and as mentioned... Right in the midst of a power play for the Saginaw Spirit for IBEW. Siska lays a pass into O'Connor who rips it into the Windsor zone. The carom off the back wall scores! Brandon Saad cut his way in front of the net. A little knuckleball that slipped through the five hole on Passingham. The battalion. Now we're going to get a scrap here. It's going to be Sardaretto and Cluche. Sardaretto comes back with a right. Cluche and Sartoretto are throwing some bombs in the corner. Sartoretto trying to get loose as a Cluche comes around with a right end. Now the linesmen are in there kind of bear hugging as Sartoretto and Cluche fall to the ice. And the two linesmen are buried under the two combatants. That was strange. I don't think I've ever seen that before. It's like, it was almost like the linesmen took the worst of it. Sartoretto <laughs> being dragged off there. These two guys are not exactly thrilled with one another. They continue to ride the boat. In behind the Windsor goal. Johnston. Left it there and a shot off the stick of a McIntyre sails wide. Cassian talking there with Camara. The two of them there are going to go. Camara and Cassian. Cassian, one of the toughest guys in the OHL. And a oh, big <laughs> shot there by Camara at the end. Uh, out of left field as Cassian got the first few jabs in there. And one punch on Camara dislodged the face shield of the spirit player Camara now at the Windsor blue line Poza just slaps it into the Saginaw zone Kunako good pass in front of the net now Kuklicev oh and Parks comes up with a jam in front and they score Parks came up with a great save but Kunako there to pick up the remnants of the play and uh, stick it under the crossbar and the Spitfires have made it 2-1 a two-on-two -two situation into the Windsor zone. A shot by Ross. It was fended off by Ellis, who got in the way to block it. In behind the net, Cantor rubbed out by McQueen. Camara will pick up the loose puck. A utility oh, line up there for the spirit. Michael Cantor is red hot. Oh. Michael Cantor at the lip of the crease. Stops it home, and finally a bullet pass. The goaltender passing him. Well, that was just hard work by Camara. Michael Cantor. The recipient of the spade work in front as Ross Cantor and Camara, who you mentioned, all very industrious in front of the net. And Cantor swoops in to make it 2 2. <laughs> in there against Trocek off the draw. Cassian nearly sidestepped Trocek en route to the front of the goal, but he's denied. And here comes Saad in the other direction. Brandon Saad looking for the wraparound play as he oh. flips it in front of Trocek. What a oh. play in front by Saad and Trocek play. wired it wide, but Saad. He sends it around the boards. Dunnick could not hold it in there again. And Cassian is back to pick it up. Down to 15 seconds left to go in regulation time. The Spirit and the Spitfires as Johnson breaks. It scores! Johnson with a shot from the left wing side that handcuffed Parks. And the Windsor Spitfires celebrate their third of the hockey game with 12 seconds remaining in regulation time.